We're here with Jay Monty. Is this my first time here? I don't think I've... Have we reacted in? I don't know. Jay Monty, it kind of sounds familiar. We've got City on Fire. If you like what you heard here, I'll link his channel below in the description. And show me love. Hit that like and subscribe, all right? Get it cracking. City on Fire, that don't sound good. Unless they're on fire for God. Can I get an amen, brothers and sisters? Okay, let's go. <sighs> Unless they're on fire for judgment. Oh my gosh. Everybody drinking out of the same cup? That's not Jesus' cup, though. City on fire. They were clapping for me when I walked down that aisle. I heard those screams and all them shouts. Them old ladies was proud. But did they know that just a month ago I got knocked down? Body found, laying on the ground, not making a song. Could they see all of the women I had slept with? Could they see the veins popping in the hands that I strangled his neck with? Could they see the tormented mindset that I was left with when I accepted my death wish and wore it like my favorite necklace? Except for the little bit of expressions of innocence I would wrestle and fidget with. I was reckless and ignorant, arrested for interest. Some with residents with their kids. I would check an extensive list, but I never could finish it. Plus, depression was kicking in. And Jesus was speaking to me. This God that I thought was dead was obviously reaching to me. My partners were shocked and they all started rocking with me. Cause truly, I stopped with the nonsense. I was evolving and seeing newly. They all thought the Monty lost it. I promise he's seeing through me. Mothers and fathers, bishops and pastors and deacon trudies. They watched me exalt my father and thought that. They freaking knew me Probably thought I resolved it just now When the preacher moved me But I'm not gonna sit in church And impress you with my attire I'ma walk up them double doors And my God and set the city on Set the city on Set the city on Set the city on I'm not gonna sit in church Time out These lyrics are about 98% correct So some of the words are incorrect But uh We listen while we're, we we read it And we'll, we'll, we'll be able to understand What's wrong and what's right but I, I, I can hear what he's saying now. Let's continue. Set the city on. Set the city on. Set the city on. I'm not going to sit in church and impress you with my attire. I'm going to walk at them double doors with my God and set the city on. Set the city on. Set the city on. With all the stuff that I done been through, I can't sit through another church service with a pastor in a slick suit telling me how I'm going to get through. Cause I'm dangerous And I'm angry at Satan for making us think to be sane Is to stay in the same place until we get placed in the grave You were hopeless and ashamed Why you go and get saved and exposed to his name If you wasn't gonna share it with someone selling dope in the game What about that 17 year old on the train who wants to blow out his brains But if you go over and say that Jehovah can save Then his mindset would totally change In the spiritual realm, I'm armed and equipped With an arsenal kit and an army to split in your market defense but in the real world, I drive a car with a dent And if minimum wage means I'm wealthy, well, then I'm partially rich So grab your torches and battle horses with matching forces With vast endorsements and bashing borders from Atlanta Time out I'm hearing what he's saying, he's saying a lot, he's, there's a lot going on here Yo, Tim, thanks for becoming a member, buddy Thank you New channel member, let's go! One of us, one of us, gooba gaba, gooba gaba all right, I see what he's doing here, man. Uh, the things that he's saying, you know, and uh, he's he's in this church, and notice how the church is dark. Notice how the whole church is dark. He's in a false church. He's in a false church. There's like, there's no light there. There's no light in that church. Okay, and we're supposed to be the light, right? We're the light of Christ. Okay, and you've got all these other people. They're in spiritual darkness. Their light is not shining, right? <clears throat> uh, and he's talking about going against that preacher in a slick suit, right? Um... There's a lot of false preachers in, in the churches, right? And they're leading their congregation in spiritual darkness. Tim joined the club. Nice. Yeah, he became a channel member. Let's go. Members are going up, man. Nice to see. I love it. Uh, and he's talking about setting the city on fire. And we see him going through the church, this dark church. And he's lighting everybody else's light. 
And this is what happens when you're truly in Christ. All right, there's a spiritual light about you, and people are watching, people are paying attention, and your light is going to affect other people. Okay, which is exactly what's going on here. He, he he's using his light to ignite everybody else and set their light on fire, and it spreads. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to spread our light. This is beautiful. I love the visual to this. This is awesome, man. And this is what it's about, man. This it's about it's about being Christ-like. We got to be like Christ. People are watching us. If you're going to be if you're going to claim to be Christian, you you better be a true convert. Better not be a false convert. Or else you're going down the wrong path. You're in spiritual darkness. You, you, you got to be careful with people who claim to be Christian. A lot of people claim to be Christian, but they're not really doing it. They're not really doing it. They're, they're, they're using Jesus. They're using him. They're not making him Lord of their life. They're not following after him or, or listening and obeying his commandments. They're using him for what they can get out of him. Access to heaven. They're selfish. They're self-centered. Why we have all these hypocrites and, and false converts. They're not really they're not listening to Jesus, man. And they're not being truly converted. Your light starts shining once you repent of your sins and put your faith in Jesus. Then your light starts shining. It only takes a spark to get a fire going, right? Yeah. And it, it and it's the work of the Holy Spirit. It's the work of the Holy Spirit that leads you into, into true repentance. I mean. And to, and to, yeah, get that light shining. Yeah. Man, it's like, some of these people, they just don't do it. They remain in spiritual darkness. They're, they're following false gospels, false teachings and doctrines, and, and it's keeping them in their darkness. They're, they're, they're not free. They're not free. They're not free. They're still enslaved to their sins. You know, they're, they're, they're living their life based off of a sinner's prayer. Oh, Jesus, come into my heart. You can say those words, but are you, are you opening your heart? Where is your heart posture? Are you really opening your heart, though, to allow Jesus to come in? Jesus is not going to dwell with you if, you if you're going to hang on to all these darknesses. This is Jesus. This is the Holy Spirit. This is, this is holiness and righteousness. What happens when you have a guest coming over to your house? A guest. And you, and you respect this guest that's coming over to your house. What's the first thing you're going to do when you know that they're going to come over? You're going to clean your house up, aren't you? You're going to tidy up and clean up your home and make it look good for your guest, right? Clean up. Cindy knows what I'm getting to. A lot of you know what I'm getting to. You're going to clean up, right? You, you got a, a guest come over. They're coming. You invited them over. First thing you do, you're cleaning up. If you really want to accept Jesus and bring him into your heart, Jesus come into my heart, saying it's not going to do nothing. It's not a magical seance. You actually invite him in by cleaning up. You start tidying up in here. Give up your darkness. He's not going to dwell with you if you're just going to hold on to all this filth. We're talking about a holy and righteous God here. A holy and righteous Holy Spirit. It cannot dwell with darkness. That's why the darkness gets separated from the light. You need to get rid of these things. People want to be like Jesus until it's time to flip some tables. They would rather go with the flow in these churches. Yeah, and I even I even use the flipping of tables as an example. It's like it's like people want to say, "Hey Jesus, come into my life. Come into my heart, Jesus." They're saying it with their mouth, but they're not actually allowing Jesus to come in and start flipping tables within their heart, within their the contents of their character. They're not letting Jesus come in and start flipping tables and chasing out all the evil and all the wickedness. They're not allowing it. They're just they they want to they want to hang on to their sin. They want to love their sin, and so you're 
the light of Christ is not going to shine in you until you actually spiritually convert. You got to convert spiritually. It's got to be a real deal. All right, say it with your chest. Let's go, Anna. That's right. Uh, man, and it's sad to see. It's sad to see. It's like it's like I actually believed. I actually believed, and I actually repented of my sins. And it's like it's like boom! I got hit with the spirit of God, and I and I I just, I feel it. I witness it. And I see how I'm changing. I am so totally different. I'm so different. I'm being molded into being like Christ. And I, I see it. It's amazing. And I don't want it to stop. It's because I actually did this. I actually believed. And it was the truth. Jesus didn't lie. He didn't lie when he said, repent and believe the gospel. You'll become born again. I surrendered. I surrendered. I was a criminal at one point. Jesus came to me and I was like, I surrender. Kind of like a criminal with the police. Jesus came up on me, drew his weapon. Hey, freeze! Oh! Stop right there! Oh, I stop! I repent! I stop! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to be a police officer too, like you. I want to be on the good side. I'm sorry. Too many, too many altar calls end with belief and ship repentance. You might want to rephrase that, Tim. That didn't make sense, buddy. Did you misspell something? Too many altar calls end with believe and ship. Ship repentance. What is that? Ship. Like a boat? Oh, they skip repentance. Yes. Yeah, it, it's sad to see, man. It's sad to see. Without repentance, belief in Christ is worthless. Demons know who he is. Yeah, yeah. Demons believe in Jesus. They know who he is personally. They believe in Jesus, but belief is not going to save them. It's like repentance and belief. They go together. It's the two wings that are going to get you to fly into heaven. Repentance and belief. A lot of these people are, are hanging on to belief, and they're not repenting, so they're missing a wing. And so they only have this one wing of faith, and so it's like they're trying to fly, but they're getting nowhere. They're not getting nowhere, or they're going in circles. They're going in circles. They're not, they're not flying. They're not elevating. They're still stuck. you got to have both wings, repentance and faith. Repent. Give up your sins. C stop committing them. Commit to God. Out of joy and gratitude for his forgiveness, mercy, grace, and his love. That's why we repent and turn from our sins. And then we put our faith in Jesus that he, he is our Savior. He saved us from our sins. And uh, he's going to advocate for us. He's going he's gonna to see us through when we get into heaven on Judgment Day and all that jazz. Repentance and faith. It's like two wires as well. Those two wires have to touch in order for the lights to come on in the home. If you don't touch them two wires together, there's not going to be, there's no power. There's no power in all this fake stuff. The real power lies in repentance and belief. Bam! Lights come on. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So basically, that's what's going on here, man. He's a, he's a true Christian, true believer, actually living it, not being a hypocritical Christian. And so now that he has the real deal, he has the real Holy Spirit within him, God working within and without, with, uh, through, inside and out of his life, right? God's working. And so his light is going to shine and it's going to affect other people around him. He's going to be an example for God and he's going to be able to lead souls to Christ. Lead people and point them where salvation is, Jesus. And they're going to be able to live it. People are going to notice and they're going to be like, oh, wow, that's a real Christian. Wow, they're, they're actually Christ-like. Yeah, it's not just a Sunday thing with him. It is, this is an everyday lifestyle for him. He really loves God. He's really doing the thing out here. That is a, a great example of Christ's love. That's how it goes, man. Anyways, all right, let's finish this. Ah, man, when I get talking about God, woo that's my passion, man.
I love talking about the things of God. Let's go. Well, then I'm partially rich. So grab your torches and battle horses with matching forces with vast endorsements and bashing borders from Atlanta, Georgia to California. Lastly, to Florida, attacking the order that's masking our people. Bashing your source with no remorse for what happens to evil. Because now as we speak, it's on a prowl for the weak. What's up, yo, yo? Sleep when they growling their teeth and pounding the sheep. I know the preacher love when I'm co signing loud from my seat. But that ain't the only reason that Jesus allowed me to see. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to sit in church and impress you with my attire. I'm going to walk up them double doors and my God has set the city on. Set the city on, set the city on. Let's go. It's not about entertainment. Church and impression with my attire. I'm gonna walk at them double doors with my God and set the city on. Set the city on, set the city on. Impressed with my guitar. It's not about entertainment. Sit in church and impression with my attire. I'm gonna walk at them double doors with my God and set the city on. Set the city on, set the city on. Yeah, see now all these people have the light of Christ and they're and they're leaving the church. Notice how they're how they're leaving the church? It's because when we actually have Christ and the Holy Spirit within us, we are the church now. It's not a building, it's not about a building with four walls. You don't have to go to church every Sunday to have a relationship with Christ. You can do it in the confines of your own home. In the privacy of your own home. And it can be an everyday thing. It doesn't have to be a Sunday thing. Why am I afraid to put a fish on my truck? Just in case I have PTSD. Why I am afraid to put a fish on my truck just in case I have PTSD. Unchrist-like moment. Was that supposed to be a joke? Or just a general statement? I'm confused about that one, Tim. Must have went over my head. I don't know, buddy. Um, what was I saying? Tim threw me off a sec. Hold on. Yeah, the fish bumper sticker stands for being a believer. Yeah, yeah. Jay Monty grew up in Atlanta and was involved with gangs. He got shot in the head and found God in the hospital while he was recovering. Very powerful testimony. Yeah, that's a that's a really good testimony. That's really good stuff, Knoxville. Uh, what was I saying? I'm saying something. Oh yeah, they're all leaving the church. It's not about a building with four walls. It's really not. Jesus said we are the church now. You think you think God is in that building? No. God can be within you. He can come and dwell with inside of you. This is the temple temple of the holy spirit it's not about a church building and a lot of times you might want to avoid these church buildings it's it's really hard depending on where you're at i'm not sure but around where i'm at i have yet to find a good uh, biblical church man the churches all around me they're all about the sinner's prayer they're all about the sinner's prayer they're not preaching repentance and faith they preach faith or they, they preach about the, the sinner's prayer. That's how they lead people to Christ. Say this prayer. Repeat this prayer after me. It's so sad. It's really sad. And I feel so alone. I know I have a lot of, a lot of you. A lot of you seem to uh, agree with a lot of the things I say. You understand it. And a lot of you are believing just as I believe. A lot of you seem to be repentant. And believing Christians, and it's like this is the only interaction I have with some real Christians. Honestly, I have yet to I have yet to find the secret agents. I have yet to find the secret agents within my own hometown where we can look at each other and be like, "Are you in?" You're a real child of God? Okay, wink, wink. Let's go. Let's go. Wink, wink. Yeah, we're in this together. We're on the same page. We're on the same page. I don't have that. I don't have that around here. So, so you know, physically here on the earth, I feel so alone within my own hometown. I feel so alone. 
yeah, I know I have God. I have God, right? So I'm not really alone there. But there's there's a part of me that still feels so alone. You know? It sucks. It sucks. Amen, B. I so agree with you. Thank you, Steve. What's up, buddy? I broke my arm one time when I was like three or four, a long time ago. My dad was holding me and was praying, and he felt my arm pop back in place. God helped me so much, I haven't had any trouble with that arm. There you go, yo, yo. That's what God does, man. He, he still heals. He still heals. It, it never stopped. It never stopped. We're all called to be part of a flock, but you need to have a church somewhere. It would be nice. It would be nice, Tim. I mean, because I, I, I enjoy fellowship with other believers. But the churches I go to, I only go there just to just to be around family. I only go to church. Peerless recordings. I switch my request to a different song. Did you uh, send a request in by donation, brother? By the way, we, we don't do self promo over here. No self promo, brother. No self promo, guys. Just saying. Uh, what was I saying? Darn it. Yeah. The only reason I go to churches around here is just to be around my family, show love, love on them, and, you know, be an example, right? Set an example and just love on my family, all right? And then I and then I try to give the message a chance. Whatever the preacher is going to talk about, I try to give it a chance. I agree with some of it, disagree with some of it. You know, I've yet to find a real deal. You know what I'm saying? Need to find one that has small groups. I need my men's small group. Praying for my grandmother, she is sick. Well, in Jesus' name, uh, I pray for it's your boy's grandmother. No more sickness, complete strength, health, healing, and wholeness in Jesus' name. I'm going to be honest, you're putting a spark in my heart I haven't felt in a while. Some hateful Christians kind of put me off, but I'm inching my way back. God brought me to your stream. Exactly, Anna. That's exactly why you're here, is because God loves you, and he wants your attention. All right? And he wants, to, he wants you to love him for real. That's why he gave you free will, Anna. He wants you to willingly seek him by your own free will. He's not going to force you to love him. He's not going to force you to love him, Anna. He, he loves you, whether, whether you, how you however you feel about God or not. He loves you regardless, and, and he wants a real love from you. He doesn't want a robotic, synthetic love. It's not real. It's not real if you program something to love you. He wants the real thing from you, Anna. That's all he wants. He wants you to give him, give him your heart. He wants a real relationship with you, not a robotic. He's not going to force you to love him. He wants the real deal, Anna. You don't have to go to church. You don't have to go to church. Hold on, Peerless. Let me, let me finish talking to my people here a sec. Hold on. Um... Yeah, he wants the real deal. You've always loved him. Well, Jesus says if you love him, you'll keep his commandments. Okay, so it's like uh, it's like if your parents tell you to do something and you actually love them and you respect them, you're going to listen to them and obey them, all right? And so if you get into Scripture and start reading the New Testament and getting into the four Gospels, you'll, you'll learn what Jesus commands of us. And he says, if you love him, if you really do love him, you'll keep his commandments, okay? It's easy to say we love. Yeah, you love us. Yeah, that's totally true. But when it comes to Jesus, he says, if you love him, you'll keep his commandments. So if you want to prove that love to him, get into the scripture, start reading the gospels, freshen up on the things of Jesus and what he did on in the on the earth in the past and yeah uh if you love him you'll keep his commandments just get in prayer you know after the stream or something right now even while you're alone you know just get get private talk to God he's on om, he's omnipotent omnipresent he can hear you you can pray however you want you can pray with your eyes wide open hey god how's it going uh 
Yeah, I'm a, I'm a sinner. Uh, feel pretty bad about the things I've done, and you know, I want to confess and forsake them, and and start living for you, and I want to prove my love to you. Show me how to love you properly, God, and uh, you know, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start repenting of my sins. I'm gonna turn my back on them and face you, and. Put my faith in Jesus and get to know Jesus. Jesus, I want you to be my friend. Show me how to be your friend. Show me how to have a relationship with you. Start asking all the questions that you... That you start asking questions. You're scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. The point is... The point is, you know, we've, we've had these traditions. Am I still recording? Okay, I'm going to get out of here before this video is too long. Jay Monty, he's lit, bro. City on fire. If you like what you heard here, I'll link his channel in the description below. You can find him there. And show me love. Hit that like and subscribe, all right? Boomers.